Hey, Lady Bash. It is the 9th of January, 2019. And we got some more snow. Big, heavy, wet snow. So it changed my day a little bit. And I want to get to what it was that came to me, that was shown to me essentially when I saw this yesterday. Because in my spirit, it's important. I mean, this really illustrates what this spiritual warfare is doing and, and really how close we are to seeing this prolification of evil in the world because things are happening in the spiritual world that indicate that things are going to change very soon. They're lifting their veils. They're, they're doing this all over the place. Okay, and it's all this space. Okay, think you've got to understand space is not what you're told if you don't already know this you need to look into it you need to look into the origins of nasa all these things because this is important it is an important thing for people to understand okay and what they're portraying is literally with especially this farthest object ever uh, they want you to believe that two rocks bumped into each other and glued themselves together uh, I don't think so. This this more or less is illustrating the same thing as the Twin Towers did. The two becoming one. And, and what you see in this very well-defined image here is this fine line. And, that, and you're literally seeing this. That's what that illustrates. That's the prison. That's the intersection of the two. That's the battleground. You know what I'm saying? That is, and it's known as a vesica Pisces. And it's the enmity, it's the flesh, it's the hatred between good and evil, between God and the devil. It's just how you see it in your mind, but you need to understand that it's a spiritual war that you're seeing come into the natural world, which means that a choice, a decision must be made on the part of people as to whom you're going to serve. Are you going to are you going to believe all the lie and serve that lie? Or are you going to believe the truth which requires you to humble yourself and seek it, knowing that you are a finite being with a finite mind, but you do know you're going to die someday? And there, there is something that occurs when your flesh dies. And you need to make sure that you are going in the right path during your life in order to go through the door at the end of it all that leads you to the kingdom of God as opposed to everlasting darkness in a place you don't want to experience. You don't want to see this. So what I'm telling you is I see this illustrating and basically announcing that, let's say that the third of the stars are about to be cast down. Uh, great tribulation is about to come to this world i don't know how else to explain it they're lifting the veil on everything lifting the veil that to me is they're mocking they're mimicking what jesus did they are completely and utterly on the verge of you know springing forth and only god can allow that but this is what they are illustrating the two becoming one in christ when Christ was crucified, there were two criminals, basically, crucified with him on either side. And one of them railed against him and said, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. And the other answered him and said, Hey, don't you fear God, seeing you're in the same condemnation? And we actually deserve this. This is our due reward for our deeds. And this man, meaning Christ, has done nothing. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus told him, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Okay? And you got to remember, this is Luke 23, and it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour, the six and the nine, and the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was ripped down the middle, top to bottom that is the veil 
And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said it, he gave up the ghost. 2346. He became one with the two. He broke the hatred. Okay, so this is what, what NASA is showing you is just the opposite. The two becoming one in flesh manifest evil that's what it is when you succumb to the lusts and the the wanting of the flesh you are serving it you understand you got to turn from that change your mind that's all repenting is and it needs to be done it's imperative because the way this world is going it's uh not looking good and, and NASA, I did want to just, you know, I've gotten into this before, but you need to look into these things. They, NASA is literally born from the Nazis, okay? They'll just put it that way. And if you know anything about the Nazis, they are total Satan-worshipping, murdering, more than likely, uh, like the bloodline of the evil one. And people, you know, you can look at that in a literal and figurative way. When, when you talk about the 23, 23, the chromosomes, the bloodlines, because there is a literal truth to that, okay? But again, we see things dimly. We don't understand everything, but we understand enough, okay, that they're here, manifest. This is pure evil, and it's coming to this earth. And if you're not in Christ, you are part of it. I hope you understand that. So, yeah, the Nazis, you know what they were looking for? The Thule Society? They were looking for Hyperborea. Does anyone recognize that map, the Mercator map? This is all just one long story of Satan battling God, trying to steal the souls of men. I thought this was very interesting. The Thule Society actually created a stamp. Now, this is like a, a genuine thing that they had back in 1936. I, all I wanted to point out, though, was the... 25 ORE with the that, that symbol. That symbol right there representing the currency of that particular, uh, we'll call them a club, okay? The Satan Club. That particular currency of theirs, the ORE, that is exactly, exactly the same symbol on that New World Currency coin. That's just the way it is. And it goes on and on and on. As you all know, even the even the wall, because that enmity, that hatred, that represents the wall, okay? The wall between us. And he cannot get enough of this wall. It's all about the wall. They want to go concrete, which is of aggregates of the earth, against steel, iron. <laughs> it's almost like iron and miry clay. You know, just like Daniel uh, described, the ten toes. They will not cleave, although they will try. I mean, all these things are so incredibly important to understand. But this is the big one. What Christ did for all of us on that cross. That's what you need to understand above all things. And I hope this makes sense. I truly do. I just wanted to get this thing off of my computer. And the veil has been lifted on these dark powers and principalities it's coming folks you can see it so i hope you know jesus peace and grace to all of you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 